So in this video, we have, uh, as you can see, five to a whole bunch of exponents. Okay, five to the a is two, five to the b is three. You'll notice all the equal signs here, the wavy types of equal signs, which means it's about two, it's about three. Five to the 0 0.8614 is about four. And uh, you can grab a calculator and verify that if you'd like to. So we have, we have three values that are known, four, seven, and nine, and then we are left to fill in all the blanks. Hmm, well, let's see what we can do. First off, we want to know five to what power is two? Well, again, let's look at what we know. We know five to a certain power is four, five to a certain power is seven, five to a certain power is nine. Uh, really what's going to help us here is the four, because two is the square root of four, right? And the square root of four, that just means four to the one-half power. And I know that four is five to the point eight six one four, and I said I'm taking that to the one-half power, okay? When I have a number to a power to another power, I multiply these exponents, and so that simply means this is going to be 5 to the 0 0.4307. So I've already got an answer for A, that is 0 0.4307. All right, not so bad. Uh, what about B? I want to know what is 5 to the 5 to the something power equals 3. We can actually do the exact same thing because we have 3 squared here. We have 9. And so I can say, well, 3 equals the square root of 9, and that's 9 to the 1 half power. And since I have 9 to the 1 half power, I can express 9 as a power of 5. That's 5 to the 1.3652 power to the 1 half. Don't forget that part there. And then we're just going to multiply 1.3652 times 1 half, and I get... Uh, 5 to the 0 0.6826, I believe that's correct. So there we go, I got myself an answer for B, 0.6826. And I can see that as my answers are, are rising, my exponents are also rising, and that's really going in the direction that, uh, that is appropriate. Um, now, let's see, I have 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, seems like I missed something. Seems like I missed five. Five to the something power is five. Well, of course, that's one. Okay. So you can see that this is expanding up and it gets to one, and so I can expect that this C here is going to be something bigger than one. All right. Well, let's keep going here. Uh, five to the something power is six. Well, six, I believe, is two times three. And so that means it's going to be 5 to the 0 0.307, that's 2, times 5 to the 0 0.6826, that's 3. And 5 to the 0 0.4307 times 5 to the 0 0.6826 is simply 5 to the 0 0.4307 plus 0 0.6826 power. And that's 5 to the 1.1133. All right, so I can come over here and change this to 1.1133 power. Good. I'm all the way up through 7, 8. I'm going to do the exact same thing I did here. 6 was 2 times 3. Well, 8 is 2 times 4. So that means I can take the exponents for 2 and for 4, and I'll say, well, this is just going to be 5 to the 0.4307 times 5 to the 0.8614. I'm going to add my exponents there. And I'm going to get 1.2923. 1 1 because that is 0 0.4307 plus 0 0.8614. I want to point out that uh, I could have also looked at this as uh, 8 is 2 to the third power. And so therefore I would take this to the third power, and that just means I'm going to multiply my exponent times 3 
I get the exact same answer, 1.2921. Moving on, we already have 9 filled in, and now we need 10. Again, 6 was 2 times 3, 8 was 2 times 4, 10 is going to be 2 times 5. Okay? So I take 5 to the point 4307 times 5 to the 1. That's pretty easy. And I get 5 to the 1.4307. Uh, 12 can be described as either uh, 12 is either 3 times 4 or it's 6 times 2. Either one's going to work here. Um, so if I take 3 times 4, that means I would be adding 0 0.6826 to 0.8614. And if I do that, I believe I'm going to get, uh, let's see, it's 1.544 is my answer. And so that means that 5 to the 1.544 is going to give me 12. Uh, moving on, 14. Again, follow that same pattern. 14 is 2 times 7, so that means it's going to be 5 to the 0.4307 times 5 to the to the 1.2091 and so that's going to be 5 to the this exponent plus that exponent and when I add those together I get 1.6398 and uh, again uh, it's always a good idea to grab a calculator and just check and make sure that 5 to the 1.6398 does equal something very very close to 14 it's not going to be exactly 14 because all of these were rounding to the closest, uh, uh, to, to four digits basically, and um, we're rounding an irrational number. There's no way that we could write it exactly. Uh, so now I have 5 to the h is 15. Well, 15 can be described as 3 times 5, right? So that means I'll take 5 to the point 6826 times 5 to the 1 and I get 5 to the 1.6826 power. Good. And uh, last one, 5 to the something equals 75. This is the easiest one out here. I just did 15, right? Well, 15 times 5 is 75. And so all I have to do is multiply 5 to the 1.6826 times 5 to the 1, and I get 5 to the 2.68. Two, six. And we are done.